Life ain't what it seems, the grass ain't always green Trust me, see it, I come and live in a dream It's like I'm living a dream, yeah, yeah, yeah Life ain't what it seems, the grass ain't always green This girl is seen, it's like I'm living a dream It's like I'm living a dream Live on a level of men, money, money Don't forget it all right so we're right here on woods and 6.1 stock market finance news that was the man called Dougal boss so jamaica for tonight we're gonna go to the segment that we call one man's story his story and he's gonna share a story with us andre shakes mm -hmm. so we're gonna welcome andre shakes to the show right about now because roots 96.1 is enjoying this moment more than anything else right about now so as we enter we say welcome to andre shake yeah, blessed, blessed good night to you too andre how you doing bro yeah, I'm here, I'm here. I'm together, huh? for the moment. Yes, good to hear you. Inside the studio with me is Lamoy, our producer. So, Andre, just stand by for another minute and let me just get something sorted out here right now, all right? All right. Nice again. It's, it's good and it's up and down, you know. Nothing really stays the same, no time. So you just have to keep moving. You hear me better now? Better. Yeah. I said it's a up and down, you know, story, you know, it's not really one way anytime, so you have to just keep moving. Okay. Well, as a young one, still, I, I was growing among, you know, music, not really musicians, but, you know, selectors, and just love as of music overall. So I, I really got a love from a tender age, but I didn't really get any teaching in music. So over the years, I kind of just gravitated more and more to creating music and how to sing. I started singing over people's songs and all those stuff. So it was a whole heap of different experiences, but it wasn't like something that was handed to me like, this is music and this is how you do it. Yeah. Yeah, basically by learning from others. Either on my level or higher. So you know there is always level towards anything you do in life. Oh, that's not a problem. I'm 27. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. All right, Andre. Yeah. Yes, at twenty-seven, I was um doing music for sure, but mm -hmm. you know my 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 family life was there with me and thing you know, so we are kind of like similar right about now. But let me hear your story. I want to hear your story. Yeah, where, where should I start? Like, <laughs> there's so much to. But as I said, it all started from being around my uncle that used to play sound, and my mom loved music. She always played music. My uncle, my grandmother, so I'm always surrounded by people listening to music somewhere or the other. So All right, so just tell us um, quickly, who was mm -hmm. your uncle and what was the name of the sound system that he used to uh -huh. spin on? Tell you the truth, I don't remember the sound name at the time, but he and Johnny Cool and Zip, they used to play together, they had a sound back in their younger days. So he had a sound that I used to play on, because I used to select as well. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you used to do that too? Cool. Yeah, but I, I didn't really like that part of it, so I kind of left that alone. <laughs> All right, so what I is it you're doing music. presently? <laughs> I understand that you are yeah. a artist yeah. slash producer. Um, what else do you do, Andre? Well, if we're supposed to talk about slashes, there will be a lot. But um, I don't want to be sounding like a jack of all trades, but... I'm really an art-oriented person there. So I also can draw, but I, I kind of drifted from drawing to doing digital graphics. So I can do graphic design. And I've also done some video stuff and so forth. I usually take pictures so people might know me for that. Um, as I said, I produce, I make beats, I can engineer, I sing. <laughs> So it's just various forms of art that I, I try to, you know. And as I said, all of these stuff are not formally taught. Well, I got some training via Manifesto JA. I did a, a intensive eight-week program. Yeah, that was at um, Tough Gang Studios. And otherwise, I was going to Trenchstone Polytechnic doing um, the music course there. So those are the only formal type of training I got where music is concerned. Otherwise, I, I just sit down and late nights and no sleep. And like, <laughs> the worst set of computers we got through and all kind of things, loads, information, hard drive, dead. It's just like crazy. Plus, you have to deal with life itself. And then I try to learn. So it's just crazy. Yeah, I listening to you, and if I didn't know my son, I, I would I would think that I'm I'm talking to my son because all of what you just described to me, that you yeah. do production of music and you're an artist and a graphics design and all of those things, I think it comes with the, the new generation because my son is exactly like that. <laughs> yeah, he just loves creative, right? Yeah, he, 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 he loves to create and um, the drawing, everything like that. But I think him tricked me. You know, one of the things he never let me know that he can do very well. Because when he was here, he's now, he's now over in England. When he was here, he never liked cooking. Now the man turned big chef over England. <laughs> uh, it's just a calling, man. Yeah, yeah all right. So... Know? Have you done any recording that is on YouTube or any of the musical platforms? Well, me personally, or production-wise. Nah, you, um, any of your works that you uh, you have created? Well, I, I have several productions out on my YouTube that just made that beat. Or if you're searching, it would be B-R-E-Z-Z-M-T-B on YouTube. You can view various productions that I've done, as well as, you know, some of them are under the artists with Vivo and so forth. So, it's just a various amount of things. I've done some older projects with a, pro a group I was in, but I haven't released any recent self-productions then. 
but I've done other production with upcoming artists as well as an artist that I'm working with named Firescape. So look out for a lot of good stuff coming. <laughs> All right, so it means that you will have to send some of some of your materials to to Lamoy so we can get them here and hear what your sound like what they sound like. Uh, by any chance, is there any um, any of the big artists who are out there now that has, uh, is on any of the, the beats that you have created? Is it? Is there any um, of the artists, the most recent artists who are doing uh, their music, do you have any of those artists and singing on any of your beats that you have created? Well, I have some projects I'm, I'm formulating, but nothing at this moment out so there is no project i can point it to at the moment but there are things in the making so i'll say that for sure all right that's good news good to hear that all right so you you said earlier that you are an artist when you yeah. drop a piece of one of your songs then right now live on the air the brother all right i have one named daydreaming um that's to come out soon so it's something like this Life ain't what it seems, the grass ain't always green, trust me, Zim. I come and live in a dream, I come and live in a dream, yeah, yeah, yeah. Life ain't what it seems, the grass ain't always green, describe the scene. I come and live in a dream, I come and live in a dream, yeah, yeah. Oh, my eyes look to the sky, don't to fear another day in life, no fight, try, sacrifice. Dan Chang, at all times, all when fun flow up with chais, the lot of us because we have lost people to make the bad fight, you smile all when my one cry. Yeah. Yeah, man, life. <laughs> Can you it's put it's, uh, it's um, <laughs> very <laughs> ironic that you're, um, you, you, you choose that song tonight because um, our 16 um tips for the day that we we, we produce earlier is about life yeah. and how we can get ahead in life by becoming mm -hmm. successful and things like those mm -hmm. yeah yeah i mean that's just based upon you know experiences and just putting feelings and emotions together to kind of simplify the whole thing you know so um, have you done any writings for any of the upcoming artists or the artists that you have, you are working with? Do you write songs for them? Yes, I, I, I do some writing, but I like to let the artists express their, you know, the whole thought process and stuff. But I always direct and, you know, give insight upon certain things. But I don't really try to steer anybody directly. But I just, you know give them an understanding of where I'm looking forward. Okay, so you kind of guide them, but you let them express themselves. Yeah. Good. Because, you know, expression is key. You can't really steer an artist exactly. Because they always say you can bring water donkey to the well, but you can't force them to drink water. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, often, artists are stubborn and so forth, so. You don't really want to get anybody in any bad mindset towards you and the music and all of that. You have to be sensitive sometimes towards people and their whole thought process and what they want to bring to life as well. Oh, okay, I understand you. Um, but you know, I want to share something with you. A couple of years ago, I mm -hmm. uh, when I was much younger, rather, I was um, hanging out by Jamin's recording studio. And back in the yeah. days, to really make the grade, you have to listen to the engineers. You have to listen mm -hmm. to the, the producer. So sometimes, yeah, you have some artists until they get there. <coughs> they might be a little stubborn, but you who knows and understand a, a little more than them should, you know, sometimes be a little firm but respectful. You know what I mean? Yeah, because you don't really want to show somebody dream. Because remember... Everybody has a different mind. Everybody comes from a different home, all of that. So there's different dynamics, and you have to know how to blend with people. Or as young people are always in problems. I agree <laughs> with you strongly on that point, my brother. I agree with mm -hmm. you on that. You really have to um, be careful how you manage and handle people because, like you say, they're from different background, different culture, 
And things might have gone on them head or in them family because a lot of people try to escape um, their sorrows or their troubles through music. Yes, very much so. And that's one of the key things that have pulled me up through the years, you know, despite all struggles and troubles and <laughs> all kind of strain. Yeah, music was one of the main things. So you, you, you're, you, am I understanding clearly that even in your struggles um, as a youngster growing up, um, different challenges in life, music was what uh, helps you to stay firm and strong? Yeah, definitely. Like, I literally can't go there without listening to music in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> I understand. You know, I heard um, most recently that there is a group who is using music to help people who have um, special needs and they are different type of music and to kick off the program one the song that they played was Bob Marley one good thing you love about music when it hits you feel the pain I was like wow and the, 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 the producer of the program was saying maybe Bob Marley was onto something so they are now using music as a therapy to help people to heal yeah, it's very much so. It's all depending on what you're listening and the the, 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 the wavelength or the mindset that you're listening to. You know, it gives you a different meditation. Ah, that's so true. Um, listening to you, you you are such a young person, but at the same time, you sound so mature in in what you're doing. And I know if you start off on such a, a foot, you're going to get somewhere and I love that about you much respect that's very much appreciated you know thank but, you um, uh, next I, I want to ask you do you have your own studio well at the moment I don't have a studio open to like the public or anything but I have my little personal studio that I do my stuff in so I also work with other studios as well but uh, I don't really base upon any one studio at the moment. Oh, I understand. So um, you have your own work that you do personally at home, but you, you yeah. do a little freelancing. Yes, because I, I engineer for people at times. Sometimes, uh, as I said, I might do some graphic work. I might go to make a beat for a session or something. So it's all depending on the whole setup. As a producer, um, recording artist, which which one of the instruments is your favorite, your specialty? Well, I would say it's a keyboard because that's what I, I, I grew up learning. As in me starting music, starting creating and so forth, that's the first thing I, I, I got for myself. <laughs> and actually I had playing it over and over, learning cards and all the fingers and the keys and different scales and all that. I haven't mastered it 100% up to now, but uh -huh. I have a good grip on it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's good to hear that. What's your, what's your second choice? Well, well, I love the drums, so I really do. But um, I, I also got a guitar recently, so I, I'm just delving in music. <laughs> I understand. There's a reason I ask you because I myself am a drummer, and my that's the drums are um, drums. Cool. Drum is really my first instrument. The next instrument that I really, really love, and I just can't um, play it because I don't, I don't have it around me. Is the bass guitar? Yeah, it's a nice instrument. It's a very sweet sound. It's very close to the keyboard in some ways, but. It's very different in most ways. Yeah, that's true. I think instruments help us to express um, our characters and our mood. And I really yeah. appreciate music because music really helps these youngsters to get out there. But, you know, what we need, I personally think that we need, um, Andre, is persons like you who have um, a gift in the music to help those who want to get in it to get somewhere by directing them and and um, impart on them your knowledge and your wisdom because they want to get in it but everybody who wants to get in it 
know exactly what to do when they are in it. Mm -hmm. And that's something I learned from King Jammins himself, that when you are in the music, you have to guide those who, are, who wants to be in it. Um, just give them the knowledge. Tell them what to do. Tell them what it needs to sound like, and you know, they will catch on. Andre, you still there? I think, um, Lama, I think we might have lost Andre. But um, we want to thank Andre Shakes for coming on. He's just 27, and he already is um, doing some producing. He's a musician. He's a recording artist. And he, 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 he's, he's, a, he's one of what we call our modern-day um, future builder. He builds beats. He's a lover of the music. He uses it to, um, yeah, you can find him at Dre's Beat on YouTube and on other social media. So you want to check him out. He knows what he's doing. He's self-taught, but I believe he's been trained by the creator himself to produce the type of um, lyrics and um, beats and uh, all those type of work. You know, we have to just believe that there is a, a, a power that is greater than us and it's calling us to reach out to the youths in such a powerful way. And we are grateful for that. We're sorry that we lost him because, you know, of course, we don't want him to send some shout outs to um, some of his fans and friends and family. All right. So, I want to thank him big, big, big time. Yeah, Lama, thanks for bringing that genius to the school leg show. All right, we're going to take a little break. Come back. Life ain't what it seems. The grass ain't always green. Trust me, Zine. I come and live in a dream. It's like I'm living a dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life ain't what it seems. The grass ain't always green. This grass seen. It's like I'm living a dream. It's like I'm living a dream. Open my eyes, look to the sky Thank you for another day in life No fight, strife, sacrifice Stand strong at all times All when fun slow fish dry Still I survive because we have life People talk negative bad vibes Still smile and even want cry Life ain't what it seems The grand say no it's green Trust me seen It's like I'm living a dream It's like